Hey everyone, Danny California here, and today I want to talk about scrum starts. Crumb starts? No, scrum starts, named after rugby scrums, where the rugby players are all smooshed together trying to get the ball so they can score goals? I don't follow rugby. If someone could work on a spoonful of rugby blog, that would be helpful for me. If you've watched any roller derby in the past year, you've seen a scrum start. Now there are variations to the scrum start, but the classic jammer line scrum start is the most prevalent. In this scenario, both teams are lined up in tight defensive walls right in front of the jammer line. One team is lined up on their knees so that when the first whistle blows, a no pack is called and the jammers are immediately released. Now this scenario might be raising a couple of questions. For instance, how are the jammers being released if the pack isn't crossing the pivot line? In old school derby, at the start of the jam, the first whistle is blown releasing the pack. Once the last pack member has crossed the pivot line, then the double whistle is blown releasing the jammers. But here's where it gets tricky. If there's no defined pack and no pack is called, then the double whistle is blown and the jammers are released, even though the blockers have not crossed the pivot line. And how do they force a no pack situation? By having all the blockers on one team start the jam on their knees. This way they're considered out of play and no pack is called. Whoa, 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 hold on, you say. You can't just drop to your knees and force a no pack situation. That's destruction of the pack and that's a penalty. Well, first of all, kudos to you for reading the rules. Internet high five. And you know what? You're absolutely right. After the first whistle starts the jam, if an entire team drops to their knees, the last person to do so will be penalized for destroying the pack. But, Wait for it. A loophole. If the whole team is already on their knees at the start of the jam, they're not destroying the pack because technically there was no pack to begin with. Damn you, you sexy, sexy loophole. Now keep in mind, if you're the team that's starting the jam on your knees, as soon as no pack is called, you have to immediately stand up and reform that pack. Otherwise you will be penalized for destruction of the pack. So if these scrum starts are such a hassle to pull off, why do we use them? Well, I can think of two reasons. The first reason is position. With a jammer line scrum start, the blockers get to start in very tight, very slow moving walls right in front of the jammers. Now notice I said slow moving wall and not stopped. This is because you cannot initiate contact while stopped. So if you're part of that defensive wall, make sure to keep your feet moving in derby direction. As an added bonus, scrum starts on the jammer line mean you get to make use of the straightaway when the jammer first hits your wall. It's much easier to hold a solid tight wall on the straightaway than it is around the turn. So it's advantageous to be able to start your defense against the jammer closer to the jammer line than the pivot line, which is right before the first turn. The second reason is that it releases the jammers quickly. A natural byproduct of starting the jam in a no pack situation is that the jammers are released almost immediately after the jam begins. Now this can come in handy if you want your jammer to be able to exploit a pack advantage. For example, if the opposing team has blockers or better yet, a jammer in the penalty box, you want your jammer to be released as quickly as possible to take full advantage of the situation. For every second the jam has started and the black jammer hasn't been released, the penalized players are burning seconds through their penalty time and are closer to being released, taking the pack advantage away from your jammer. So love them or hate them, it looks like scrum starts are here to stay, at least for the time being. So make sure to practice when and how to use them correctly and they can be a nice little tool for your derby toolbox. Crumb starts? Strum starts. Never took one lesson. Booyah! Drum starts. Rum starts. Don't mind if I do. Oh, sweet baby Ray that burns. Kids don't drink and blog.